Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga, and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz with 0 seconds increment only chess. And during the game, I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning from the game that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, now quickly let's start off with the game and see how it goes. And got the black pieces here. I'll play the Karukan defense which starts with c6. And the next main move is to play d5. If open captures, which he does, I can take back. And develop the light square bishop first on f5. At some point play e3 as well. Okay, we can straight away play e6. He is willing to exchange bishops, which is generally a good idea for the black as well. But I prefer bringing it back to g6 so that now if he takes, I can open up the h file, which he doesn't. I can proceed with my normal development, which is bishop to d6, attacking the diagonal towards the king. And then we can probably play a knight to d7 as well, so that both the knights will be connected once I develop them. And there's no pin sort of. I can just probably play queen to c7 as well. Okay, I can. Let's play queen to c7 first. That's a nice move. Always eyeing the diagonal with the battery. Just that bishop is over here, not ahead. Okay, let's play knight first if he's willing to exchange. If not, then probably I'm looking at capturing the bishop at some point. Okay, can I can I play pawn a6? I can. That's WhatsApp notification coming in between. I didn't turn off my WhatsApp. I forgot to do that. Okay, what can we do here? Knight over here is not a bad option at all. Plus his knight is not doing much over there. I can take the knight as well, and he will have two double. Uh, he will have double, double pawns over there. But yeah, let's go with the knight. If he now takes, we can take with the bishop. Bishop will be permanent there. We're attacking his dark square bishop as well. Okay, I think we should take the bishop. And now we can probably give a check for random and then attack his knight or let's just place our bishop over there attacking the knight. If knight back we can probably play bishop to h5 as well. This queen is important defending the bishop. If he moves the queen, that can be losing his bishop sometime. So a good position we are in, probably. We can castle either side of the board. Not required right now. People generally hurry into castling, which is not uh, required for sure. Okay, so he's trying to play some tactic here to spoil my castling. I can... F I... What do we do here? I need to capture this knight for sure. And then we can think. If required. Okay, takes the knight as well. The bishop as well. Okay. I can take the pawn. It takes with the rook now. Gives a check. And king to the dark square is pretty much okay, I would say. Yep. He takes another pawn there. That was what his plan was. Probably he's done with it now. I hope so. What is the way we look forward this as? I think let's go with the knight first so that we are in a good shape. 
to defend the pawn as well on g7. That's a discovered defense, I would say, as queen is defending. So he cannot take. Knight can hop in as well to e4. That will close his open file. It's attacking the bishop, but that's probably not an attack. That is just attacking the d5 rather. So we can defend with the knight. Bishop is already guarded with the queen, so nothing to be bothered about. Probably we can just take our king on the side and place it safe and get our rook into activity. Okay, his knight is trying to attack the pawn. Okay, let's let's go here because that attacks his rook. That attacks uh, the knight. If rook here, I can capture with the knight. This defends the pawn as well, so pretty okay. It's attacking the bishop, and I can play pawn to g5 here. That defends the bishop. I can take the pawn. I, if he does, I can take with the knight there. So sorted. This looks good. Is there some tactic are available? I just need to defend my pieces. I'll say I'll def defend with the rook so that at least my pieces are lined up. If he plays pawn forward, we can attack his rook. Okay, he takes the pawn there. I can take with the queen and he then gets to take my knight. That's his plan, okay. Let's not hurry it into the position, I would say. I can attack his queen with my knight and what he does there. Where does he go? Because now the knight is defended with the bishop. It's a very complex situation. I can take on the knight next move. So I didn't want to hurry for that rather attack his queen so that there's no peace loss happening over there right now i just lost a pawn so i can live with that time is also a crucial factor here i can probably lose on time too if i'm not careful it's a very complex situation as i said he has to move the queen somewhere that's the whole point of this move and it is guarded with the bishop, so nothing to be bothered about. Only possible squares for the queen, I would say, is here or here or here. Three squares for the queen available. Let's see which one he chooses if he doesn't want to lose. Or the fourth one is losing out with the knight. So three squares only where he can save his queen, but then he loses the knight. That's the whole point. And that's what is bothering him. Probably here it makes more sense. He designs, understands the pressure there of losing the piece. Let's quickly analyze the game as well. And this was a very complex situation, as I said. He could have played though, uh, along with this, but that was losing for sure. Yeah, 5.2, 5.3 in favor of fight. And as I, said, as I was mentioning in the game as well, the best move was to play, to play queen to e2, and then he loses the knight. Computer testing, don't take the knight and bring the bishop back. Well, that's strange because my thinking was to take on the knight. That's also winning. Oh, that's that's in favor of white. It's in favor of white. The knight move was banned due to which he resigned. I'm not sure what's the harm if I take this. Yes, check was what I was wondering at. I save my king there. You can take. I have to defend this so I can move the king as well. If he gets the rook, 
I can still move my king. You can take. Okay, we don't have a very good attack from here because everything is protected. Knight is pretty much helpless. I think I would have given a check in that case so that after he takes, I can go here. But then what from here? If queen gives a check, I can run back. He can align his queen. The queen is saving everything there, so I cannot move the queen. I can give a check though, but if queen up. This was completely losing. The situation I was thinking that is pretty good. I was losing actually. Okay, if I should have taken the knight there so that I lose a piece. Not lose a piece actually, but I still have got more pieces than him. He has got extra pawns. So that is an okay situation. What I went on with the game was to play knight to d2 attacking his queen. And there he thought for a few minutes and then gave up. Well, probably it was tough to find for him to proceed with this continuation after I take the knight. That's a tricky one. I thought I was winning completely, but instead I was losing. But, you know, the opponent didn't realize that. And that's why I probably resigned. Anyway, it's a win. So I'll take that. I hope you liked the video. It was an interesting one for sure, at least for me. So yeah, please do keep watching and sharing. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.